plug it in. Got it. Okay. And up here, you got to put these frothers, and you just shove it down in here, and you make sure that you've got that open, because it'll twist and be closed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it actually does, but so you put those down in here. Okay. And then you make the mix and you just follow the directions on the bag. Okay. So each bag will make, I think it's five gallons. Okay. But I just use the half gallon pitchers that are in the kitchen. Okay. And just kind of eyeball, you know, quarter the bag or however much you think. And then mix that with Because it's just water. water with the mix, exactly. right? And then just mix it up and just pour it in. One side chocolate, one side vanilla. Okay. I actually got two vanillas, so we're oh, just okay. going to have right. vanilla. So, um, and then as soon as you get that done, you just push auto. And that'll start the freezing process. Okay. How far in advance do we need to turn it on to freeze? It freezes pretty quickly, so probably no more than 30 minutes. Okay. If it's on for longer than that, is that a problem? Um, no, it'll just stop. It'll cycle. So okay. if, if it reaches, so here you've got like a hardness setting. So if you find it's like really soft, you can just press. Bump it up. Yeah. Okay. But I usually set it on like four and a half, something like that. Okay. If you go more than that, it'll actually lock it up. And I don't know where you're planning on using it, but it'll. Probably, it'll, probably in the gym on that side. Okay. Because if you, if you have it on the kitchen circuit, it'll trip the. It'll trip it. Okay. It'll trip it. So. That's the easy part. And then to dispense, you just, like ice cream, I mean, it's pretty, cleaning's kind of the harder part. Okay. So you want to try to the best you can to just run it dry of ice cream at the end. So get all the ice cream out of it. Okay. And then up here, get hot water out of the sink mm -hmm. and start running hot water through it until it's basically running clear down here. Um, You'll also, before, actually, I'm sorry, before you put the hot water in, once you get rid of all your ice cream, disassemble the head. Before I put the hot water in? Yes, and I'll show you why. But after saying. the ice cream's empty. Yeah, after the ice cream's out, before you put the hot water in, take the head off. And these, the short ones go on the bottom. These long ones go on the top because they've got to get past this. Mm. And then take the head off. And then you'll need to pull these out, basically, and make sure you got all the ice cream and everything off. Kind of wipe this, because otherwise you'll be forever running water through it, trying to get all the, mm, yeah, get it clear. So I, I disassemble first, it, wipe it kind of out, put it back together, and then run the water through it. Sometimes these will come off with it. Just make sure that's on, because it's okay. basically it and just run it perfect should we worry about put, waiting for it to dry before we put it nope. back together anything nope. be fine nope, should be fine is that supposed to be down there there's gonna be okay cool so half hour before we need ice cream yep um you may have to wave the kids off a time or two because let it refreeze uh, kind of let it refreeze because if you start doing a lot of cones or whatever um it'll start it'll just be really soft gotcha okay big ones on the top yep small ones on the bottom woohoo that's it